Apple has released iOS and watchOS 26 beta 7. This is another weekly update cycle. So first let's go ahead, take a look at the settings, go to general, go to about, and you can see the build number is 23R5346A. So once again, it ends with A, so the watch must be very close to its release candidate. They're not probably gonna be changing anything major with the watch until that final release candidate or the final release when they add new watch faces and stuff like that. But there is something new in this update that people outside of the beta got on Friday, I believe, Thursday or Friday, that I made a video on, and that is the blood oxygen sensor on watches in the US that were banned before is now available. So if I go ahead, launch the blood oxygen app, it says the blood oxygen app has changed. You will now find blood oxygen results in the health app on your iPhone. So I go ahead and hit done, and now I can start a measurement. So it gives you tips on how to do it. Here are some tips. Let's go ahead, hit next. Just says make sure your wrist, make sure it's pushed back. So let's go ahead, push it back on the wrist. All right, and now let's go ahead and take a measurement. So all this looks like it did before. Now, if you didn't know, if you opened it up before when the ban happened, it just said it was unavailable and you had to go into the watch app on the health to see why. And it was all that lawsuit stuff. I have a video all on that. I will link it at the end of this one. So hit done. And now we can start and take a measurement. So let's go ahead and start. Got to stay as still as possible. It's better to have your hand on the desk, just resting on the desk, but we're just gonna do it like this. And there you have it, recording is complete. Now before we would actually see the results right here on the watch, but now we have to open the health app on the phone to see the results. So inside the health app, I have this little quick launch thing that I use. So I can go ahead and click health. And then in here, you just hit that little search item. Now this is 26, obviously. This is basically works the same if you have 18 or 26 installed. And then in here, you wanna to go to respiratory. So if I go to respiratory, the last blood oxygen was 96. Click here, it was at 2.06 p.m., which it's 2.07. We'll wait for that to focus, there you go, it's 2.07 right now. So that is that last measurement. Now I've heard back and forth, I've not got, this is the first time I've been able to try it on a device that was banned. I wasn't able to test when I made the previous video because at that time I had this in the beta and the beta just didn't support it, and now it does. So super excited about that. I'm loving the fact that we can do this. I've heard mixed reports. Some people say that you can, that it will test in the background. Others have said it doesn't, so I'll report back on that. Now, one of the other things that I've heard people talk about that I do wanna try is, of course, the Vitals app is not gonna show it right now because this only does when you first wake up. So these are all your readings when you first wake up. I don't expect it to show it, even if it can read in the background, I don't expect it to show anything on the watch because I'm pretty sure whatever workaround they had to do, they just can't show any readings on the watch at all. It has to be on the phone. Not sure why this is. I'm not sure all the legalness of this lawsuit, but what I wonder is if I sleep with this watch tonight and what I'm gonna report back in a vertical video tomorrow is will it show up on the phone? So if you didn't know, you can actually have the Vitals app as a widget on your phone. And it's pretty easy to add. So if I go into the edit mode, I go to add a widget. If you search for the health, it's one of the first ones. So you have your overnight Vitals. So you can set this as a widget. And I'm very curious to see if the blood oxygen will show up on here. So as you can see right now, it's not showing up. That is because I slept with this watch last night and it doesn't have that ability. But we're gonna test it tonight and I'll report back tomorrow if it will show up on the phone after sleeping with the Series 10 Apple Watch that has not been able to do this in the past. All right, now that we have that out of the way, let's take a look and see if there is anything else new that we can find in this build. So as we've seen before, the notification center 
is nice and transparent. That all still looks just about the same there. You can see the time through the notification center. So let's close that out. Let's look at the control center. Now in the past, the control center in the last build was having an issue where the icons were showing up blank. So far from what I've read, it seems like that is fixed. If it's not fixed, there is a fix for it. So if you do run into this issue again, the way it was able to be fixed is you go into the settings app, you scroll down to battery, and in here you turn on low power mode, turn it on. Now you can access the control center, everything would appear, all the icons would be back, and you could actually right from here, turn back off low power mode, and everything would stay visible. So if you run into that with beta seven or you're still on beta six, that is the way to fix these from being blank. So just so you know, in case you run into that again. So in here, it looks about the same. You can see a little bit of see-throughness. I don't know if I could notice that before. Maybe it's because of the low power mode but you saw how that was switched on. It was technically should have been off, but you could see the yellow through it. So let's go ahead and close this out. Come back in here. There's, there's, there's a little bit of transparency mode here. It's very minimal. Like, I mean, it looks like I can see blue behind it. It kind of blurs everything out a lot. So it's not gonna show you much there. Of course, the control center is getting more powerful. We can edit and add items. So we have the camera remote. You can add that to quickly access your camera remote. There's even more sections and eventually we'll get like true third party support. Right now these just open up the apps of the iPhone to do whatever these tasks are and they don't really work all that well either yet. But once developers have the ability to actually submit apps that support it, we're gonna get more there. So if we close that out, let's go ahead and just take a look just to see how responsive the app is. That seems to be working well. That opened up right away. That opened up right away. That looks to be working well. I got my to-do list. That seems to be doing well. Got my step count down here. This is an app that I'm working on myself. So it's got a lot of bugs. So you can see the step count was different on here than what it was there. It updates, it's a little slow. I will get these bugs worked out before I actually submit this app. I know there was another bug that somebody reported and it had to do with the solar analog. And I was able to see this myself as well and I'm gonna report the feedback if it is still there in this build. So basically what would happen is if you went into a water lock mode, and then I'm gonna to have to go into always on display, which always takes a while. There we go. So you can see, and it looks like it's still happening. The second hand is not updating like it should. And it's only on this one, like it's way back and now it's starting to catch up. And then if I turn it back on there, it went backwards. I turn it back off, it just stays stuck. And then it's like jumping all over the place. So it only seems to affect this watch face. Let me go out of water lock mode. And let's try, that one's not supported. Let's just double check that that one is still not supported. Yep. Um, this one right here. So this one is just like all the complications that a watch face could actually hold, it seems like. So let's go turn on water lock mode again, turn it off. Nope, it's jumping around like crazy on this one now as well. So it seems to have caught up. I know it's a little dark on this one. Let's see if it continues to jump around or if it stays So yeah, that one seems to be doing better. Let's go back in and it was right on cue where it was supposed to be. Kind of jumps around initially, but then this one finds it. So there's still a bug there. So I'm gonna report this because somebody found it. And I mean, that was a great find because that is definitely behavior that you don't want. And it seems to only happen when you're in water lock mode. So if I turn off the water lock mode, and then I go into always on, 
it seems to work a lot better. Let's go back, go back to water. See, it seems to be a lot better with the always on display normally, but if you're in water lock mode for whatever reason, it has an issue. And we'll also just check out watch faces. So this is a new watch face for the Apple Watch. It's got a little bit more transparency to the time. That was pretty much the only thing they changed so far that they've given us, but we will get new watch faces. I promise you that. But let's go in and look at the new watch faces section. I expect it to still be the exact same as before, and it is. And of course, I always like to point it out in case you didn't watch any of the other videos, I am loving the new layout for watch faces. They now have them in collections, so you can kind of get the style and look at all the ones. So like, say you want to dress watch face, they give you all those in one style, and it's really, really nice. Let's go ahead and add one of these Hermes watch faces. Let's try the original, I believe. And let's see if the second hand works on this one. Cause I know some of them, it didn't work and it does on the one that I use most of the time, but it was weird that they didn't add it. So yeah, so it doesn't look like the second hand is still working on watch faces that they weren't working on from the original set that they added. But I'm super excited to see what watch faces they add next. Let's just take a quick look at workouts. So workouts did get an update. You can see this new layout right here. And then of course we do have workout buddy. We have three voices still. I've kind of showed them in the past. One and three are female voices and two is a male voice. And basically what it does is you can set alerts to when they will come on and talk to you about certain things. I have been using it and it does work really well. I'm really enjoying the way it kind of interrupts you as you walk and give you kind of your latest stats. So it will tell you, hey, it's been 10 minutes and hey, you've walked a mile and this is your pace. And then it will even refer to stuff like, this is your 300th mile of the year, stuff like that. It gives you more than just that walk. It gives you like your averages and overall for year and stuff like that. Or this was your longest walk ever, or this was the most incline ever. So it gives you a lot more than just the stats that you see on the watch face which is really nice. And it even refers to the song. So if you're listening to music, which you can control right here to have automatically play as soon as you start a workout, you can either have it pick for you or choose a playlist or an album or whatever yourself. I like the pick for you at first. It wasn't very good, but it's gotten a lot better and just seems to keep getting better to kind of just learn you and learn what music you like to listen to when you do those walks or those workouts. Very nice, very great update. The workouts app, I love that they spent the time and actually made this way better than what it was before. But if you are curious how to get to all the list, so you scroll all the way down, hit the add, and then you can see like your normal workouts, but you can click add again, and this is where you get that full list of workouts. So they're still all there. There are so many workouts that the Apple Watch can actually track now that it's kind of crazy. So as far as performance and battery life, it has been awesome. Like I finally feel like it's catching up to what it was when it was like not on beta. So overnight I've been noticing that I've been losing less than 10% while I sleep. So usually I'll go to sleep, I'll charge it up before I go to sleep. I'll be at the 100%. And then when I wake up, I'm at like 92, 91 or somewhere around there, which is where I was before the betas. So I'm really happy to see that. Now, right now my battery life is down because I hadn't charged it until I installed the beta. So I'm down to 37% right now. So it definitely needs to be put on the charger because the beta installing, obviously, you can see the last time I charged it was to 51%. So I haven't charged it all the way up in quite a while. So we can go to battery health as well. Still at 100%. This is a newer watch because Apple did send me a replacement. Everything's working good there. And I am just super excited that we finally have the blood oxygen back. 
We can track it again. We might not be able to see the results. That's kind of a bummer, but we do have the data. We have the ability. I'm so glad that Apple got around this and I can't wait to see what they do with it next because I feel like this is just the start. I feel like they're going to have even more. Maybe the new watches will have something, but if you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my full video on the blood oxygen stuff, you can click right here to view it right now. Or if you want to see another one, you can click right there. Hope you have a great rest of your day. God bless.